Now to a Team 10 investigation. This carnival ride ripped out an 11-year-old girl's hair and part of her scalp. The horrific accident at a crowded Cinco de Mayo festival in Omaha, Nebraska got Team 10 investigator Melissa Masia digging into who's responsible for keeping San Diego families safe in area fairs and festivals. And we've got a lot of them coming up here in San Diego. Yeah, just in a few weeks here, the county fair is coming to Del Mar. Now here in California, many of the carnival rides are regulated by the state. One family, however, now questioning ride safety. We must warn you, some of the pictures you are about to see are graphic. A mother looking for answers. This was her daughter, 11-year-old Elizabeth Gilreath, on the King's Crown spinning ride. This was her after. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital after her hair got caught in the ride. Skin on her head and her neck pulled off. She's already had three surgeries. I wouldn't recommend any parent to put their child on a carnival ride. Speaking about the ride vendor at that festival, the carnival told ABC News, Thomas D. Thomas shows values the safety and health of our guests above all else, and we are saddened by this accident. But the family livid. The carnival continued to operate after the accident. How can a ride be safe when you put it up in less than two days? From its website, it doesn't appear Thomas D. Thomas shows operate in California, but we aren't immune to accidents here. A young girl and ride operator were injured on the Techno Power ride at the San Diego County Fair in 2011. Witnesses said the ride started up again after it was over. The girl was airlifted to Children's Hospital. At the time, the ride's manager says the accident was an operational error. This is what a fair spokesperson told 10 News. Cal OSHA is, is notified and they have to do their own investigation in order to allow us to reopen the ride. I spoke to a Cal OSHA representative this afternoon. She said every company who wants to operate a ride in California must file a new application. A state inspector will examine the ride, then a permit is issued if everything checks out. Here in California, the state rules say ride owner operators must do a daily pre-opening inspection of rides and implement a program of maintenance and testing. And all of those rules also listed in this 123 page owner inspection guide from the state. So the thing is that we learned here is that different states have different rules. So Nebraska's rules are different than the rules we have here in California. So every ride has to be regulated. What about the inflatable rides like those bouncy houses? And stuff? So most every ride has to be regulated like mm -hmm. the roller coasters and the ones that go up in the air. However, I did learn here that the inflatable rides are not regulated. Also things like, like bounce houses, mm -hmm rock walls and go karts and those trains that don't have mm -hmm. tracks. Those are also not regulated by the state. A lot of them at the county fair too. Mm -hmm. All right, thank Gotta you. Gotta be careful. And Team 10 is always working to get results. If you have a story you'd like them to check out, just email them at team10 at 10news.com.